Hi everyone, welcome back. So these are few more slides just to give an overview like how Jest works, what all different features this is providing. Okay, just have a look. So this is Jest. I mean, you can just integrate Jest with Angular, JavaScript, Node.js, any kind of uh, framework. So this is how we used to do, right? We used to do a lot of libraries when you, when you wanted to do a spy, when you wanted to check a particular function has been called or not. Uh, right, we, we were using assertions, library chai, we were using Mocha and Istanbul, NYC for getting coverage. So earlier like you have to end up using a lot of libraries. Now what has changed from there and now, now we started using Engine. We started using Jest, which is a test runner, right? And everything is in one place, test coverage, parallel test, assertion, snapshot testing, async test, uh, synchronous test, right? right powerful and fast watch mode that is again important because we want to keep watching the test test files and keep running them as fast as possible so real time when we are writing a code we will we will know okay which test is passing which test is failing okay and it is providing the meaningful error messages even if something is failing it is giving you the exact line exact method where the error is so it is easy to debug and fix them right uh, it is providing the support like for if you are using an ES6 then it is you can use it with the Babel right straightforward setup what you need to do is npm install uh, minus minus your jest and put test script in the npm script of your package.json uh, pretty much a nice watch mode it starts recursively looking for all the files which are changing over the the time you can just create test 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 and you can look for all these set of files, right? It can be test.jsx, test.js, uh, uh, .spec.js because people adopt a different strategy for writing their tests. Your component test may be a .spec.js, your common test may be a .test.js, right? Uh, all these different kind of uh, it is supporting. It is also supporting the, the ES6 if you are using the Babel, then uh, you can use Babel RC and get all the dependencies now i think we don't even need them uh, the syntax syntax part is pretty much simple we have already seen how mocha works and how uh, how we are writing the test cases describe it describe it right the nesting of describe it and we are using these hooks before each after each before all after all and the only thing which is going to be changed here these methods dot to be to dot to not to be dot contains all these different methods because now you will be using uh, just specific methods okay rest all things are same you are we, we, we were also using expect this two equals two not two equals right two contains similarly now the methods will change which we are going to use with a jest uh, you can also run the unit test cases in the par parallel and the spying stubbing this is beautifully done like Consider you are writing a component and in the component did mount you are making a, a service call. How do you mock it, right? So in that case for that particular method which you are calling from a use effect hook or some component did mount method you can actually spy that. You can you can create a mock function for that. Like uh, here it is just an example of spy, okay. I am creating a spy and then I can check that this function has been called, this has been called how many times, this has been called with these set of arguments. This is the, actually the spying a particular function to know if the function has been called, a function has been called with what argument, a function has been called how many times. This is called spying a particular function. Then uh, like you wanted to, this is again the same example here but sometimes we wanted to see okay this is the class and I'm looking for some particular method. I will execute some code and then I wanted to know if this function has been called or not with this mock implementation. That means first you did the mocking of the function and now you are also checking this function has been called or not. Right? The mock implementation means you don't need to worry about third party calls, third party service call which this function is make doing. We are able to mock it with this method. So first of all it is doing a spy and it is also doing a mock implementation. Now in the next statement, you can check after calling that function, okay, this function has been called, this function has been called how many times, and this function might be returning something based on the mock implementation. Here you can resolve and reject a promise and can check, okay, there is an error, there is a success. 
right you can also write uh, the asynchronous test which we were doing which we have already seen with the mocha using callback using promises using async await if it is with the promises then what it is doing some promise some function is returning a promise we will go to the resolve block and we will check if this value is defined or we can use simply async await that is more appropriate this is the function which is going to do, we, we are going to put async await that's it and because this is the await function and here we are going to check whatever the value this function is going to return after the promise is resolved is that satisfying our condition or not right then snapshot testing that is out of the box support for the react components like when you are writing a react then we are checking okay when you click on when you render the button component how actually this snapshot look like so you can compare the current snapshot with what snapshot you are generating after rendering the component right so that is the i mean some people uh, use snapshot testing some people just go with the unit testing and integration testing okay so but these are all advantage of using jest okay now we are just going into jest with the real project of react now the important part we are going to see okay how to mock http service call how to mock something which is global to the state how to mock the hooks react hooks how to mock the redux state right how to mock the router because your function is doing a this dot props dot history dot push how we can mock that implementation so all those third party libraries we are using reactor router dom react redux all the other libraries how we can mock their utility functions okay that's important this is what we are going to look in the next video